everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. I talk to you about my love for fabrics, dressmakings and patterns and we have general sewing and life chit chat. So if that sounds of interest to you, keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. Welcome to my January plans vlog. I started doing these monthly vlogs um, towards the back end of last year and they've proven to be really popular so I thought I'd kick off the year with my January plans. So after a really busy December and not really hitting many of my goals in December that I talked about in my plans. I wanted to take it a little bit easier this month. So I have considered that. And I know I say that every single month, but progress over perfection, definitely. So um, my plans for this month are very much um, ensuring that I meet my commitments around um, some of my brand ambassadorship positions, and then also really useful things that I need to make. <laughs> Um, I have also put together a New Year's resolution vlog in respect of um, sewing. Um, I know some people are calling it sewing goals, not New Year's resolutions, but you know, whatever you call it, potato, potato, it's all the same. Things I want to do differently this year as opposed to last year. So um, if that video is ready, I will link the card here. If it's not, I will um, add it to the show notes um, below once it is ready. So the first things that will definitely get done, not necessarily first, but um, the first things I want to talk to you about are my brand ambassadorship commitment. So the first one of those is my Little Miss So-and-So All Set to Sew so Special box. Um, that is my subscription box, which I get in exchange for a review. And those of you who watch me will know that I do my vlog review quite differently. It's a three-part vlog where I film the choosing of the fabric and the pattern, the unboxing, and then reveal the make at the end. So I've already received my email that comes on the first of the month. So I've already had that and I've made my pattern selection, my fabric selection, and I'm really, really excited. It's a really, really good one this month. Well, it always is, but especially so. Really fits my style. Really love the fabric that I've chosen. In fact, I was really spoiled for choice on the fabric. So that should come around the 20th and that will be definitely a firm make. Obviously, I can't share with you what that is, but yeah, that will come soon. The second brand ambassadorship commitment that I have is for UK Fabrics Online, which is a fairly new brand ambassadorship that I started last year. I think it was in November and I've made two makes so far for them. And the great thing about this brand ambassadorship is it's a themed make every single month. My first month was November and that was waterproof fabric, which I'd never ever sewn with before. And I made a hat and a bag. Um, and you can watch that vlog here where I talk about that. Um, and yeah, it was really, really enjoyable. Really tested me. Bag making skills, waterproof fabric. It was brilliant. And then November, in December was Christmas fabric. And I chose a um, polar fleece, which had a Christmas um, pattern on it. And I made the five out of four patterns um, Sleepy Jean onesie. Absolutely love it. So warm and snuggly. Picture here. And then this month's theme is blue so any fabric that's blue and i've chosen to use suede so i've got a suede fabric coming and i know what i want to make with it i want to make um one of two things i'm not 100 sure which one yet but they're very similar so i want to make a shacket of some description so like i'm wearing today this is quite my style i wear these like um this is a ready made or ready to wear um kind of um they're like shirts but they're jackets because you can wear a vest top underneath or a t-shirt so i am thinking one of two patterns i am thinking the logan jacket because i've seen some really nice versions of that um which is by style arc i don't have the pattern for that so that would involve me purchasing a pattern which is not ideal um but then the other one is the overshirt by the modern sewing society which i'll insert a picture of there and I really like this and it's a boxy cropped fit, which I think is really cool looking. So I've ordered that in a, I've ordered the fabric in a navy suede at, and I think it will look lovely in one of, one of one of these. So yeah, when that fabric, I haven't got that fabric to share with you yet because I hasn't, I haven't received it yet. It will come in the next couple of days. So when I get that, I'll be able to share that with you. So that's plan number two. Plan number three is going to be um, my blooming fabrics brand ambassador or strike so as they call it but it's the same thing in exchange of some fabric i do a review on the fabric 
I have made lots of things in their jersey and this jersey that I received I have talked about already it's all washed and ready to go it was part of the um, Hellfire Club um, Stranger Things collection that they were doing on Blooming Fabric Store and it's this speckled like paint speckled splattered um, fabric and they had it in the white colourway as well and I've gone with this one I've got a metre of it and I'm going to make Alice um, the Brindle and Twig Pocket Romper, which I'll insert a picture of. And it's got lots of different options, short sleeves, no sleeves, or armless, um, or long sleeves. And it's got poppers up the front and a little drawstring waist. So I'm going to make her one of those, and I'm going to do the long sleeve ones. I think I've got enough fabric for the long sleeves. And yeah, I think she's going to look really cute in that. And it's, you know, I know I like her to be girly, but not girly girly. Um, so I think this is a nice colour for her and be great for playing around at nursery that's that one plan. so moving on to my fourth plan and I have talked about this quite a few times I want to wet make a pair of elasticated trousers now the ones that I really want to make they were on my mate nine is the Anna Allen Palomo pants and I really just want to make a pair of these because I think it's a really nice pattern really versatile it's going to be comfy it's going to hopefully flatten my figure especially with me wanting to lose a bit of weight and I'm going to make it in just a plain black viscose very boring for me you're all going to be thinking who is this person what have you done with the real Adele but um yeah she wants some plain um black trousers I really love my Anna Allen Anthea blouse that I made before Christmas um picture um, and I want a pair of black trousers to go with it so these are going to be perfect I've got quite a lot of this fabric I don't know how much it is um a couple of meters probably three meters so I think I'm going to make the wide-legged version just because I think that flatters my figure at the moment and yeah that will go with the Anna Allen um, Anthea top that I made so yeah Palomo pants I have um haven't printed the pattern off yet but I have got it all ready to go so yeah that is going to be the fabric for that and then moving on to my next make I really want to make um the Marlowe cardigan Marlowe cardigan was something I treated to myself to at Christmas um, it's something I've wanted to make for a while um, but you just never got round to it and I have a gorgeous fabric that I purchased ages and ages ago from Beyond the Pink Door that's just sat in my stash and it's a knit fabric in this orange speckled or melange I think you call it and it's got a fleecy inside and I just think that's going to be gorgeous as a Marlow sweater I haven't decided I think I'm probably going to do the long version if I've got enough fabric I've got two meters of this I think the buttons that I want to use is this big coconut oh, coconut shell button um, and I've got enough of that. I think there's four buttons I'm not 100% sure the only thing that is concerning me about this is it's too big for my button foot on my machine I mean that I'd have to use my machine just to do the buttonholes kind of freehand so that does scare me a little bit but yeah that's what I want to use this fabric with that button I think that looks really nice and the next pattern that I'm going to be making, I've cut out the pattern already and printed it off, is the Radcliffe Pants by Cashmerette. Now this is on my new Make 9. For those of you who haven't watched my Make 9 for this year video, it's been really popular. I've had 4,000 views and it's only been up about a week. So I'm really happy with that. Um, and it's great that you've really enjoyed that content. Um, I'll put a link to it here if you haven't watched it already. I talk about in it how I got on with my last year's Make 9, which is not very good, um, and how I'm approaching it this year. And how I'm approaching it this year is I'm looking at skills. So one of those skills that I want to do is pants. I want to do underwear. So um, I actually do need some more pants. And just to clarify, when I say pants, I'm from the UK. So pants to us are knickers. So underwear as in knickers um so um yeah that's what i want to be doing i am using the radcliffe the radcliffe pattern from cashmerette and it's the cashmerette club um you have to be a member to get this pattern but there's lots of free patterns out there and lots of really good patterns out there um that you know you can use so i'm going to go for the high-waisted ones i think um and i'm going to just go through the scraps of jersey that i've got and see what i can make up with my jersey scraps i do have some fold over elastic which i got in a um i think i got it in the beyond the pink door advent calendar actually but i am going to order some black because this wasn't a black colorway and most of my underwear probably will be black to be fun to be fair or darker colors so yeah i'm really excited to get making some underwear and also it'd be great if i could knock something off my 
make nine in January. So my final make that I'm planning to make this month is um, a collaboration. And if I'd thought about this pattern and this skill before I did my make nine, I would have been included on my make nine list. So I've been interested in for a while zero waste patterns and I've often looked at some of the ones that are available, um, but none have really ever kind of shouted out to me that I'd want to make it because it didn't fit in with my personal style. That all changed though recently when I watched Sarah from Super Bales, um YouTube vlog. She did an unboxing for um, the Hey So Sister. I think it was the two year birthday seasonal box that they have and it's basically a surprise fabric with some surprise goodies in there um, collated or curated by Georgie from Hey So Sister and usually it's a really nice dead stock fabric um, and because of that there's only so many available. Now I didn't, I've had them in the past but I couldn't afford it um, and just right with all the other things that I had going on at Christmas so I didn't take part in it which was a shame because it was a really really nice um, box but I watched Sarah unbox hers and it was absolutely stunning. The fabric was gorgeous, it was a viscose poplin I think or some type of poplin and they actually, it wasn't a dead stock, it was actually a Hey so Sister special um, fabric that they've actually got more in stock in and I'll link everything in the notes below. Um, but the pattern that came in it was a really nice zero waste pattern and the pattern was from somebody called Vegeta Hel Helmerson, I'm just checking, I'm checking my nose. And it's called the Zero Waste Tear Dress. Now, she has um, a website, and I'll obviously link that in below, and all of her patterns are zero waste. And the pattern is slightly different. There aren't any pattern or any large pattern pieces. The pattern cutting, the pattern instructions have a cutting layout, and as part of that, you cut out shape. So a lot of rectangles, squares, etc. And the only... Um, the only pattern pieces for you to cut out or print out is um, for small intricate shapes. So I haven't actually printed the pattern off yet, but I have got the pattern. And from what I understand, the only fabric you have left is the selvages. So that's amazing. Not only does it save on print printing the pattern out, but it also saves on wasting fabric. Um, and I am one of those people that really struggle with chucking their scraps away. <laughs> Even when it's like a bit that actually, will I actually use this? I feel like I can't throw it away. So yeah, it's good for me to have that. So the fabric I'm going to use for that is, oh, sorry, and the zero waste tear dress, I'll put in some pictures. There's a couple of different versions. Some really cute ones for the summer with no sleeves, or you could use it under, like this lady's done here. You could put it over a, a t-shirt. It's like a pinafore. But I'm going to go for the big puff sleeves because I love a puff sleeve. Um, and yeah, I'm really interested to get this made up. So me and Sarah are going to be doing a collaboration. She's obviously making hers out, whatever fabric she wants to make hers out of. And she's a bit unsure because it's not her style. Um, I think it is more my style. But again, it's still quite a voluminous dress. I'm a bit cautious about it. But I am going to use this viscose that I have, viscose chalet which is the, um, oh, what do they call it? Astrological viscose, which I have two metres of, which is enough for the, well, I think it's more than enough actually for my size. And um, yeah, I'm going with this. I was gonna do it in a poplin, but then I'm thinking, probably don't want it too poofy sleeves um, for my first one. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's a nice wintry fabric, um, but will still look nice in the summer. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to get ready with this. And, oh, check me out with my fabric organisation. <laughs> You'll learn more about that in my resolution slash goals, sewing goals. So, yeah, I am going to make the Zero Waste Tear Dress by, by Brigitte Helmerson. Helmerson, yeah, Helmerson. Um, in this fabric, which I got from Rainbow Fabrics in the sale. It was a two-metre remnant piece, um, which wasn't that expensive. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about £7. Um, so, yeah. If it goes wrong, it's fine, because this wasn't expensive fabric. So there are my plans for January. I feel for me, these are fairly chilled. And if I can get these done, I mean, most of them I have to get done because they're part of my um, 
commitment so and I'm excited to get them done and then yeah some of them are like quite quick make so obviously the pants hopefully will be a bit quick make so yeah I'm really excited to get going with this and um, I'll keep you posted on my Friday sews please let me know what your January plans are what are you going to be sewing please chat to me in the comments below I know I'm a bit behind on my comments but I will get there I promise it's just been really difficult with vlogmas and all the comments you got on a daily vlog that I just haven't been able to keep up with them but I am plowing through them slowly but surely and I do read every single one of them so thank you um I'm so close to 3,000 subscribers I can almost touch it um I think as I speak at filming this I'm on 2,950 um, so I've got 50 to go so I'm really excited to hit that milestone and yeah if you don't subscribe already please subscribe please click the like button if you've liked this um, and if you want to support my channel further I do have a Kofi account which um, you can click the link below and you can make a contribution and buy me a coffee thank you very much and I'll see you all soon happy sewing bye